Hi everyone, welcome back, welcome to my YouTube channel. Here I am Tarun Sarma and we are going to talk about weekend webinar and this topic is all about GraphQL N plus one query problem and how we are solving them with the data loaders. First of all, what is N plus one query problem? Does it exist with the Apollo GraphQL Federation or does it exist only with just uh, writings, uh, just a simple GraphQL service? And if it exists, then how we are solving it with the help of data loaders in Apollo GraphQL or in any other simple GraphQL service. So first of all, what is this N plus one query problem? Does it exist in the simple REST API monolith? We will talk, talk about it. Uh, let's say I have uh, this particular service, which is, this is like a, you can say Node.js service. Okay. And I have, a, I'm going to talk about like three different entities are, entities are there, books, we will compare uh, REST and the GraphQL, both of both the approaches here. Okay, let's say this is, let's say it's not a lightweight microservice where you talk only about the book entity or author's entity. It's a, a, a simple monolith, you can say, and it is using some kind of ORM solution, or maybe you are writing a simple queries. Okay. Let's say I'm using a type ORM SQLize or any other ORM solution I'm using. And this is my client, which is going to make an API call. And the API, let's say, API v1 authors, or let's say books. And what I'm looking for, I wanted to fetch all the books with their authors and individual book with their reviews, right? So what I will do is if this is a monolith and all the three entities are there in the same database, I can just do a simple join and I can give you all the data with a simple join query. This is how it works with simple REST APIs where you are writing a simple uh, query with the help of type ORMs. Now you can just write a simple statement and it will do the join and you will get all the results together. But then how it is different in the GraphQL which leads us with this problem of n plus one query problem because before that, we haven't heard about this n plus one query problem in uh, known REST world. It's something which has come into the picture when we are talking about a lot about GraphQL. So first of all, why it is there in the GraphQL and how we can try to mitigate it or how we can try to solve it. So in GraphQL, what we do, we do two things. We actually define a schema and then for the schema we define the resolvers resolvers contains your queries and mutation these all steps you perform right you define a schema which contains the types then you define a resolver which can which contains your query and mutation so whatever the query whatever the data fetch you are doing and whatever the mutations you are doing that you define inside a resolvers now in the GraphQL, you define a schema and schema contains the, the parent and child. The relationship is totally different than what we do in the rest world. In the rest world, it's all about resource based. I'm going to fetch all the books. Books will have a book resources will have a relationship uh, reference with the authors and the reviews. And this is how we would be able to fetch it. For the GraphQL world, database is still same. But what we are doing is we have created these schema and these types on top of it. Let's say first we did with the help of REST and I did a simple API v1 uh, authors. It gives me all the information just by a single call and by just a single executing a single join query in database. Now, when I'm talking about the GraphQL world, these things I have placed on top of whatever I was doing with the REST. Now I'm going to hit HTTP POST API and I will be sending query and mutations from the, the client and I will be using GraphQL client. So what change we have done? These queries define the relationship of all the entity types we are going to use, like, okay, books is going to have a reference of, authors who are going to have a reference of all the books they have written, the reviews will have reference of, of, of which particular book that review belongs to. And if you talk about a simple query, I have a simple example, like how we are uh, writing a simple queries, something like this. So from there you will try you will understand how the queries really happens and how this n plus one query n plus one problem arise so you will you will send this kind of a query 
query books and you are trying to fetch the, the book data ID and title and then you also want to fetch the author okay in GraphQL we define a schema and then we define a resolvers like how to resolve the books how to resolve whenever there is an author how we are going to resolve it so books I got it okay I can just do a simple query to the database okay give me all the books but when I'm trying to fetch the authors right here it is going to give me all the books and while I'm going to resolve the author I will only have the reference of the current book it belongs to that means if I want to fetch this author I have the only ID of this parent object book ID if you see in this code like if I talk about this simple resolver right I, I hope you already know GraphQL that's why you are looking for this video this is not if you're not familiar with the GraphQL you won't be able to understand this syntax it's a simple syntax by the way here I'm reading all the books but when it comes to resolving the author what I'm doing is this is how I, re I can resolve the author field here I can resolve the author from the book object and I'm getting only a single ID and here I'm executing this query give me all the all the books where author ID is this right so what I'm doing is let's say I, if I want to fetch 100 books I'm going to execute this query where close 100 times for each and every book because let's say my query is something like this I want to get the book and then for that particular book I'm also looking for author so while resolving the author using the resolver field resolver property I do have an access of only current book ID which uh, which is available in the parent object this is the parent object I have only the book ID while resolving the author and this is how I'm getting the author all the books of the author and this is how I'm resolving the authors so this query is talking about books so first of all I got all the books from this and then book dot author ID so here I'm trying to get give me all the books where author ID is this right so this is how we are resolving authors and the respective book for a particular author so if I just uh, run this example then I would be able to get it then we will also see what all queries actually we are executing so I mean this is already predefined example if I talk about this example and moreover this video has nothing to do with whatever I'm covering this is just a simple webinar where I want to talk about n plus one query problem which exists in the GraphQL world and how we try to solve it in the Apollo GraphQL Federation or just by writing a simple GraphQL service because in Apollo GraphQL Federation what we do what different we are doing in Apollo GraphQL Federation I will just copy a couple of things here I'm creating these small small microservices and I'm putting the Apollo gateway in front of this I mean this is just a simple monolith I have created for the GraphQL service and if I talk about Apollo GraphQL Federation then I mean th there is no big major change but here I have now these three lightweight microservices and this is Apollo Gateway and what Apollo Gateway will do is for getting the data it will talk to the books for getting the authors it will talk to authors for uh, getting the reviews it will fetch the data from the reviews now these are all respective different microservices but the gateway is giving you the single one window interface you can just send this query and it will be responsible for fetching the data right but how it is happening it is also it also might be having the same problem the gateway is giving you the query plan but underneath I think it is also facing the same problem why because books it knows okay fetch the books from here now for each and every book it needs to get the author from other microservice and now if you're trying to fetch 100 books then again it needs to call this author microservice internally under the hood 100 times then okay the solution is the same the solution is the data loaders so what is solution is data loaders so data loaders we are going to use we are going to write a data loaders in the resolver and this is how we are going to adopt the solution so how data loaders are trying to solve our n plus one query problem that we will see in the demo like i have uh, created this example just for my blog but then i thought of talking about this in the video 
So these data loaders, I will create a resolver without data loaders and data loaders and we will see the difference. But you understood the problem. Even with, with the Apollo Gateway, I can get the books from here and authors from here. And when you want to get the, when this gateway will try to resolve author for each and every book, it also faces the same problem. It will have an access of individual parent book ID to get the authors. So the problem is still there. It's only that this gateway is uh, just available to aggregate the queries and the response from different microservices. That is the advantage if we use the Apollo graphical gateway instead of just writing one single monolith. Okay. Now if you look into the code, what the code is just talking about, it just have a simple schema which has author, author has ID, name and the books, all the books of this author and the book has the author object because book is representing the ID title and who is the author of the book and then we have a queries give me all the books give me all the authors and author can populate a books for you and book can populate a uh, individual author for you so if you want to get a simple author authors then you can query all the you can also get all the books for the for, for that author and if you are just returning all the list of the books uh, something like this so here i am doing a query give me all the books and their author also so here it is giving me the book and the author id so what i am doing is i am trying to fetch all the books so i am using this query give me all the books and individual book object contains the author object also so i need to resolve this author and how we are resolving it using this resolver so i got all the books and then what this resolver is doing if i try to resolve so in this query i got all the books and now how i am resolving the author for this particular book this is how i am getting the author right so here what i am doing is uh, getting the author id for from that book because if we look at the how we are seeding the database here i am putting the author id inside the book table right so i will just show you how i'm running it it's like a simple next query we have the data available and if we talk about this resolver how it is resolving first of all we got all the books and how it is resolving the author inside the book so this is how it is happening inside the book reference when i'm trying to resolve the authors first it needs to get the author id which i'm getting from the book object because it has the author id it is going to query the author table passing the author id and giving you the author object which can be added inside the book reference so here what i'm doing query i'm querying author inside a book i'm querying author inside a book okay so i enabled a query using export export db so using next query builder it will just uh, give me all the queries log whatever the query it is executing npm run start okay not using data loader and here i'm trying to fetch this information so you can see how many queries we are executing first of all i got all the books select star from books and then my next set of queries are okay give me the author from uh, the author table where the id author id is this right so this is the n plus one query problem which i was talking about because this is executing these many number of queries to get the author data for that particular book and now how we are trying to solve it with the data loaders like what additional thing they are doing data loaders enables you to bulk fetch the ids because what where we have a dependency here dependency is here on this author id for individual book i need to get the author id uh, which is available in the parent object and then i need to pass use that author id for individual book to get the author object now how we are doing it with the resolvers with the data loader first of all i will just enable this as a true and we will reason this application now if you look into this code how we are using uh, the data loader okay so here i have created a data loader specifically the, the code looks sim simple these two queries are still the same because it's all about getting all the books getting all the authors the change which happened only at this line and this line how we are getting the 
author inside a book how we are getting a book inside author right how we are resolving these properties author so here I'm passing author ID and I have author loader author loader dot load author ID so what I'm doing is this is a, some kind of a data loader which already has the data and we are just getting the data from the author loader object so then what this author loader dot load functionality fun function is doing so this author loader is created here now what it is it, what it is doing is all the author ids i mean this data loader whatever the ids you are passing it creates author loader and for all the it actually created a map of all the authors because these many ids you have requested and you can see it has created a author's map the the id of the author and the value of the author object right and this author map so it is using this author id map so whenever you are passing you whenever you are calling the load function here you, it what it is doing it is just using this map object and you are passing the author id and it is giving you the author right away so it's like it is already doing a bulk fetch of all the author ids and getting all the authors now it is doing a reduce and creating a simple author map reduce on this authors array so it fetches all the authors where the author ids are this 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 which present in the books because I, i'm trying to fetch all the authors respective to the books so there are 200 books so 100 author ids may be there or maybe less so all for all the author ids i got all the authors and i have created a map i am returning a map of author right author map and author id for this author id it's like a simple key value pair of object so whenever i am doing a dot load and passing the author id it will just return a simple query so when i enable it npm run start what this config is doing simple logic is written here if you are making it true then it will just use this resolver data loader with the data loader otherwise resolvers otherwise this is a very simple example of how we create a simple graphql node.js service using express here it is using apollo server and then starting it apollo server needed type definitions resolvers and a context this is very basic thing i hope everybody knows about if he or she knows how the graphql works here i'm passing type definitions and the resolvers and now it is using data loader so if i send a same query now what will happen is it is just calling this query once first of all it is giving you all the books that is fine but this there is another query it is triggering select star from authors where id in this so this is happening only once after it got the result it is creating the map of this even i can try to print what this and you can see this so this is like a map and these are the ids i am sending and this is the author map looks like author map the author id and the object about the author and whenever you send a particular query even for a single author you can get the data from this data loader based on the id and map okay so i i like this idea even when we do it with the apollo federation data loader is you have to write explicitly data loader separate code how apollo federation is resolving the same problem because it's some it's something which even the graphical gateway is not is fixing it you have to use this context dot data loader dot product something like this when you are resolving the reference of a child entity you don't need to call the the respective microservice number of times for fetching the data of individual entity property right so it is same thing for individual book i don't need to go to the microservice author microservice and fetch it again and again you can use the data loader which will get all the ids and fetch the results in a single query for all the author ids and then it will maintain a map so it, don't, it doesn't need to go to author microservice to get the authors so this is something this is all about how the data loader works and what is the n plus one query problem and how we fix it with a simple example okay uh, i hope uh, you like it and uh, i'm already covering a simple apollo federation building a microservice with the apollo federation gateway or writing a simple graphql service using nest.js if you like it and you can just check out the playlist